Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel TKF Electronics. I hope you all are doing fine friends. Well friends, I received one uh, shipment from uh, Raipur. See, he is also one of my customer. Uh, sorry for hiding the contact number and address uh, because it's customer's privacy. Uh, well friends, now we'll unbox this one. Let's check what is inside. We just keep watching my video. See guys, there are six modules. This is a uh, uh, RCF Edge DL20, I think. Let's unbox one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So guys, this is. This is the model HDL 20A RCF. So, total for repair. This has came from iPur for repairing. So, now what we will do, we will check one by one and we will repair one by one. Okay. So, just keep watching my video, guys. So, five, total six are there, including this one. Okay. So, all are having problem with the power supply only. See, the customer also mentioned over here power supply, power problem. See power problem, all power problem, see power problem and this also same power problem. So all with the power problem only. So total there are 6 are there. So guys, so let's we'll check step by step one by one and we'll make the video of all the HDL20 amp module. So just keep watching my video guys. So friends, now we'll check one by one. So first I have taken this one, okay, so all the six modules they have mentioned power problem. So what we will do, we will not connect direct to this power supply. First we will check uh, like this, is there any uh, burn place or something like that. So first we will check the fuse, uh, the status of the fuse, here is the fuse. See guys, fuse is blown off very badly. Okay, so the fuse is blown off very badly. So we need to replace the fuse. Okay, so now what we'll do? Here is the uh, input. Why the fuse is blown off? So we'll check some. Ohms, this is the incoming line. She is showing some shorting, it should not supposed to show. See, 100 ohms it is showing. So, so guys, we'll check here. This is the line in neutral coming incoming line. See, it is showing 103 ohms. It means there is a shorting is there. Okay. So now we have to figure it out why there is a shorting. So for that. We need to we'll unscrew this one. I will take it out completely. Okay, just keep watching my video. I have removed the screws, so we'll take it out this one. Okay. So now to remove this board, we need to take it out this supporter here also. So then this will come out. Okay. I think there is something burned over here. Can see. Something is burn. I think there is something is burn over here. I can see there is something is burn. See. I think there is a burn something. So we need to check. So we need to remove this one. So guys, I have removed. So 
So here it is burned completely, you can see. So the problem is this is MOV. So we need to check it out because of this shorting, maybe this is blown off. And I'm not sure what, what uh, the, the condition of MOSFET and IC. SMTS IC so we need to check it out so what we'll do we'll take it out this one and check separately so just disconnect this three wire line neutral and RP so it's easy for us to repair this one so we'll just remove this one okay. so now it is easy for us to work Done. So what we will do, we will take it out this one. See guys, this is badly done. This is MOV, V2 M5. Okay. So now we will replace this one with the new one. And we will check some other also in this. Is any shorting or something like that. So because of this, now we will check before for showing 100 ohms, you remember. Maybe this one before showing. See, it is shorter, now it is not showing. It is not showing. Because of this one, it's short at three. So anyway, we'll check some other also in this. We'll better we replace this also, I think. Okay. Now see it is very badly optimized. So guys, it's clean now, okay, completely. Okay, now we'll fix. This is completely okay. Now we'll fix the part. See, before this area was completely with carbon, you know, all the, the blackish uh, when it's burn, you know. So now this is completely clean. So now we'll change this. I think better we'll change this also. And this already is gone. So we'll better we'll change this both this capacitor and this MOG also. Just keep watching my video as still on. So guys, we'll replace these two parts MOV and film capacitor. So polyester film capacitor 0.3 of 275 300 volt. Okay. We'll replace
okay so we have replaced these two parts with the new one so now we'll check before it was showing 100 ohms but now you see see now so no okay i'll keep on buzzer range see no this is normal okay guys so once uh, we have fixed this one now we'll just check the the condition of the mosfet here is the mosfet it's okay it's okay so it's okay so no more shorting okay guys so our uh, uh, smps is okay now what we will do uh, we will check some ohms here some resistors test over here okay this is okay this is 22k okay okay there is no shorting so there is no shorting over here okay uh, because there is a 5 ohms resistor is there 4.7 ohms that's why these are the same so guys the rest of the things looks okay so now what we will do we will fix this back okay just clean perfect okay guys so these two we have replaced in this so now we will fix this back So guys, uh, we have replaced this part, this burn parts. Okay. So we have replaced the if it replaced the fuse also. Okay. So this is very really badly burned. So now I fix it back everything. So we'll check it out now. This is the issue. We'll put the power on. Okay, I put the power on. I must get light over here. So I put the power, put it on, I put it on, see light comes. So problem is solved. So all lights came. Okay guys, so light is came, so power is on now. So guys, thank you very much for watching my video. Take care, see you very soon next video. Bye.